Happy Easter. How do you like the airs, class? All right. What's going on? <laughs> Hi, Liz. What's going on, Lizzie? Hey, Carrie. Hey, we're building the class. I'm not taking the ears off until we build the class. Jen, what do we got going on? We got people in the class? We've got people in the class. Marcel, what's going on? Happy Easter, my friend. Oh, Lisa Catafias is in the house. What's going on? Pastoric. Lisa, Past Lisa Catafias Pastoric. Whatever these people, these names. Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. How's it going? Hi, Marianne. Happy Easter to all the Robertos out there. You like the ears? Check it out. Oh, while we're building the class, I got to show you what they gave me for my paws. Because I got big paws and I cannot die. But they don't fit. Check it. They don't fit. My, my paws don't fit. I can't get my paw in the paw. You see the problem? This is the hole of the paw. That's the paw. Big problem. But Jen's going to wear these later for me. So, and maybe put the ears on too. And I got this. Can I show them what I got too? Give me this. While we're building the class. Hi, David. Wait, what's going on? Hi, Andrea. What's happening, sister? And I got this. It's a Peter Cottontail. It came with the ears and the paws. The paws. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're building the class. We got everybody. Sherry Phillips from Florida. We got people listening in Florida. Or actually, they're watching in Florida. Give me the hearts. Happy Easter, everybody. So today, Amy Galvin, Barbarino, and Amy and Lori are watching. Uh, today, hi, Brandy Kramer. Happy Easter. Ron Claus, happy Easter. I'm glad you made it, buddy. Off the captain. I'm happy. Uh, hi, Liz, BFF. Hi, Julie, hi, Julie Knott. We're cousins. Elise, hi to you and Guillermo, and happy Easter to everybody. Kimberly, happy Easter to you and my, li my little man. Dude, I can't believe how big he's getting. All right, Lisa Swartz, hi, happy Easter. We'll just keep going over the happy Easter's to everybody. Okay, so now we're going to turn it over to the new part of the um, show where we no longer sing happy birthday because... It's against the law, and I don't have money for that. So we don't have rights for that. So Jen and Marcy Swartz have come up with this new thing for us to do. Hi, Mike Mazer. Happy Easter to all the Scallies and all the Mazers. And this is the new thing. We're going to play our theme song, and you guys are all going to stand up and get your hands clean to the theme song as you sing along. Is that what we're going to do, Jen? That is exactly what we're going to do. Ellen. Okay. And so if anybody doesn't like the new segment under the new show here, um, talk and send all emails and correspondence to Marcy Lay Swartz and Jennifer Paulson, our, our base. All right. Here we go. Stand it up and get your hands clean. It's Easter. It's the craziest Easter ever. <laughs> hey, who sent us the dancing egg? That was really cool. All right, kids. That's the new ritual. That's what Marcy and uh, Jen say. So that's what we got to do. All right, so... We're going to dry them off. Out of storage. Out of storage on the iPad. All right, we're going to have to use this video for everything, Johnny. All right. We need to dump some stuff off of that. All right, kids. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make Jake Owens chocolate chip pie. That's right. Jake Owens himself said, ma'am, did you make this pie? But he didn't have the ears on, of course, because it wasn't Easter. So let me uh, take this. We're going to move this over here. We're going to talk about Jake Owens and the pie. So this is a chocolate chip pie. It's really easy to make. What's, your, what's going on over there, guys? Nothing. You guys good? Johnny's inquiring on your gloves. Yeah. Oh, I gotta put my gloves on, John. They're in the. I haven't talked. I haven't touched anything yet. I was talking about the rabbit gloves. Oh, the rabbit gloves. I don't have to film anymore, so I wanted to put them on and see if they fit me. Oh, Johnny's getting a little excited about the rabbit gloves. Thanks. What's happening? It's Easter. He wants a basket. I'm sure of it. Did everybody get an Easter basket? I'm sure that the rabbit still made it to everybody's house. All right. So the first thing we're going to do with this recipe is you need four eggs. Or actually, no, you need two eggs. I need four eggs because I have to double it because here's why I'm doubling this. I'm doubling this because Ella and Jen do not have, I'm taking the ears off until we're done. Ella and Jen did not have a pie tin, okay? So we're using the ceramic pan that you can put in the oven and cook it. So we got to, you know, we got to figure our way out of things that we don't have right now. So <clears throat> two eggs for you all. We're gonna snap these guys right in here like this. And here's the gig with the eggs. You wanna fluff these guys up. Yep, we're gonna fluff them. And by fluffing them, you're gonna create a more of emulsification 
big word today, kids, emulsification on Easter. You're going to create more of an emulsification, and it's going to hold the pie better, right? Because there's not a whole lot in this pie. It's really, really, I mean, if you think about it, half cup flour, half cup, you know, sugar, brown sugar, two eggs, and a stick and a half of butter, and, you know, the goodness, the chocolate chips. So we're going to whisk this up, and we're going to get these eggs foamy, all right? But we're not going to make meringue. We don't want to put it on top of a pie. We want to put it in the pie. Hi, Ed Pastor. What's happening? Tracy Bush, are you guys making these recipes? I, I, I think you're back cooking, aren't you, Kat? Who else is watching? Hi, Barbara Pond. How you guys doing? Lisa Pastoric, I can't believe we got Ed to class. How's it going? All right, so we're going to whip these guys up. And they're getting foamy, but we don't want them too foamy, remember. So we're whipping these guys up. What's everybody doing for Easter? What y'all all making for uh, uh, Easter dinner? I'm sure you guys already had uh, lunch over there, right? Or wherever you're at. And I have my friends in Hawaii now who are watching at 9 a.m. God love you for waking up so early. Hey, Dwayne, I don't got any bacon today, buddy. Deb Calabrese, what's happening, sister? Hi, Mamacita. Oh, yeah, Michelle Fairchild's in. Oh, and Bear's with Mamacita today. I love that. Hi, Lukey, what's going on, my man? Debbie Augustine, I love you. Hi, Aveline Popoff and Michelle. Michelle Fairchild, you're like my number one student. You're almost passing Lisa Pastorica, but she sent me masks. Oh, I gotta show you my mask that matched my apron now. I'll have Jen grab them. All right, so we got the, we got foamy eggs. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add the sugar. So you need one cup of sugar. We're gonna pour this guy right in here and level them out. Just like this. And I'm going to try not to get sugar around because Jen's, you know, Jen's the flipper of the kitchen. So I try to, you know, I try sugar to somewhat. Sugar is the least of my worries. I, <laughs> you know you like when I, I throw stuff around the kitchen. All right. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to put a, um, now remember, I'm doubling everything. So do not copy me unless you want one big, big pie. Okay. And we're going to put uh, a half a cup for you guys, but one cup for me of the brown sugar. And see how I do that, kids? You gotta pack brown sugar, okay? Because you can't just like put it in there. This stuff is like sand. If you pack it, then you get a true cup. So you're gonna pour that guy in there, just like that. We're gonna put this in the fluffy eggs and you're gonna see how fluffy they get when you put the sugar in. Now, we're gonna mix this up and I'm gonna take this off of here in a minute and I'm gonna show you how fluffy it is, okay? So you get the fluff. Johnny, we're going to show the people the fluff. All right. All right? All right. And here, see that? Can you guys see that fluff? Can you see the fluff in there? All right. Now, now we're going to add the flour. We're going to put some flour in here, and then we're going to put the butter in here. Actually, we're going to put the butter before we put the flour. I lied, because I softened the butter already. And how I soften my butter is I put it on the back side of the stove as you're preheating the oven to 325. So then there's no worries. And then you just put it in here like this. Now remember, you only need a stick and a half of butter. Okay? We're dosing this mother up. All right. Here we go. So how's everybody's Easter? So did you have the Easter egg hunts? Now listen, if you still need to do something with the kids and the little nippers this afternoon, Johnny has found out that there is a virtual Easter egg hunt on Snapchat. And uh, Johnny, where do they go? Snap mats? Yes, yeah, snap mats. Snap Maps. Go to Snap Maps. And where do they hide all the eggs, Johnny? I have no idea. Are they all around They're the world, Johnny? Everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. The eggs are everywhere. So have the kids check it out. All right. Now I got the butter in here. and We're going to turn this up a little, okay? We're going to turn it up. We're going to get this incorporated. And then we're going to add the flour. And then we'll put the chips. Now here's the deal. I know that we're running low in the pantry because we don't have no nuts today. So we're nutless in our recipe. Jen usually likes the nuts in there, but we're gonna leave the nuts off today and just, you know, put a little few extra chocolate chips. Can't go wrong with chocolate, right? Especially, you know, nowadays. Chocolate makes those endorphins pop in your head. All right. Hi, cousin Joey, how's it going? Happy Easter to all my cousins and all my family in uh, Toledo, Ohio. I love you guys. Hi, Claudia Span, how you guys doing over there? I think it's in White House. She's in White House. Victoria, how you doing, Victoria Runner? Uh, Julie Hartford and Lisa Barrows. Hey, 
When all this is over, if you guys need some jewelry, go to see Lisa Barrows and the Barrows Boys. Those guys are the, they, they're, they're legit, man. I got a ring that keeps falling off my finger, but they're going to fix it. <laughs> She's sharing a turkey today with the neighbors. Nice. Way to go, Lisa. Way to, way to pay it forward, sister. All right. So we're still get, getting this butter incorporated, and I'm still whipping this guy up a little. And then we're going to put in the flour now. All right. So we're going to lift this up. Now, you can see there the, di the difference that it changed to with all the butter. Now we're going to put in one cup of flour, which would be class, half a cup. Give me some hearts. Show me that you're following along, and you realize that I know you, there might have been a hangover last night with some of you after we took a vote on what we were making today. But I know that uh, it was like, I don't know, 150 to something to this, you know, this Jake Owens pie to, uh, ma'am, did you make this pie? Um, Jake Owens pie to the Crack Crispy. Now listen, don't worry, Crack Crispy lovers, because we're going to do a rerun of that show because people love those. And there's all kinds of combinations and all kinds of stories that go with those Crack Krispies. Mm -hmm. Highly addictive. Highly addictive. So we're going to mix this uh, flour in, Johnny. What's going on? Hi, Rita Kay. What's happening, sister? Her and I used to work together at the uh, city pool in Toledo, Ohio, my first job ever. Um, and then, hi, Cheryl and Lily. How, I, dude, I saw you guys took a walk the other day, and uh, we're looking for warmer weather. Did you find it in Wisconsin? I'm probably thinking not. Hi, Charlie Lewis. How you doing, honey? I think Charlie's in Chicago. I'm sure he's in Chicago. All right. So we got the pie mixed up. Now, you're going to say, hey, Ella, this kind of looks like cookie dough. Well, it smells like cookie dough. But guess what, kids? You still shouldn't eat it because why? Raw egg. That's my disclaimer. Now, what you do from here is your own business, and nobody knows what you're going to do because you're in your own house with your own family. So I'm just saying, don't eat it. You know, I'm sure that if Jen was on this side of the counter, she would be eating it. Not until the chocolate chips are in there. No, not until these guys are in there. No sponsor, but I'm sure that you know and you recognize the yellow. So, for the chips, it's one cup of chips for you guys and two cups of chips for me. So, we're going to do this. Ooh, I think I'm running out of chips. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour this right in here. Like this. Make it rain. Make it rain, kids. We're going to make it rain chocolate chips today. It's been raining in California. Ooh, too much. Too much rain in California. I know. Isn't that crazy that you say that? All right. Here we go. Chocolate chips more. And we're done with those. Now, remember, this is where you'd put your nuts in. Ron Claus, this is where the nuts go in the recipe. All right. So we turn this guy back on, and we're going to incorporate these guys. Oh, look at Carrie. How you doing, Carrie? John Canfeld. Love you, my man. Love you. Oh, you're writing them? Thanks. They're coming up so fast today. They are coming up very fast. They're coming fast. up very fast. Okay, now that we got this incorporated, the pie, if you put your nuts in, put your nuts in the pie. Johnny, don't look at me like that. That's a little boy humor that you have going on right now, <laughs> cameraman. All right, we're going to um, take this. Hi, Fred Lefevre. How's it going, dude? Fred actually has real rabbits as pets. Mm -hmm. Him and his wife, Penny, they have pets, pet rabbits. Fred, I don't think you've seen these, Fred, but I'm going to show you one more time. How about that, Fred? I got my own rabbits today. Yep. All right. So, listen. In times where you cannot find flour, and my man uh, Ron Claus reminded me of that today, um, you can go and get one of these. This is a pie crust, rolled up and ready to roll. Now, keep it cold and unroll it, kids, because, you know, nobody likes a soggy crust. So we're going to put this in the bottom of my pan just like this. And actually, it works pretty well. Jen, it really works good. I knew it would. That's crazy. That's okay. why I always cheat and get the frozen ones because they come Check with their it. own pan. Check it out. Mm-hmm. It worked. All right. So now we're going to take this double batch in here, and I'm going to pour this right in this pan. And we're going to cook this at 325 for 55 to 60 minutes. That's all. 55 to 60 minutes. Now remember, don't eat it, kids. Who else we got, Jen? Here we go. Oh, hey, Katie Schroeder. Is that Schroeder? Schroeder. Hi, Katie. How you doing? Caitlin, how's it going, sister? Roxanne, Roxanne. I say it twice because she's so nice. 
All right, so we're going to put this guy in here like this. Johnny, can we eat this right here? I wish. <laughs> Ooh, Jen, this is a lot in here. This is going to be a big, thick pie. Uh, Suzanne and Chuck K, you're going to have a big piece of pie. Jen's like, wait a minute, we're not giving it all away, but we will give some away today. Uh-huh. So we're going to smooth this around in here like this and put it right in the oven. Remember, 325. Where'd the crust go? The crust is in there, Johnny. It's on the edges. This is a deep dish right here. This is a deep dish Jake owns. Ma'am, did you make that pie? We're going to make the pie. We're putting it in the oven. All right. So we're going to put that guy in there. Set the timer, Jen, because we don't have Alexa in our house because she's not allowed. Mm -mm. What is that called? A truffle? That would be a fruple if you allowed Alexa in your home. All right. So this guy is done. Now you know how to make the pie. Do you want to hear the story of Jake Owens in the pie? Because he's cutie patootie. Uh, you know, when that guy comes in your dining room, he'll light your, he'll just light up the room with a smile. All right. So um, where's all my country fans? Because these people are the nicest people to cook for. The country peoples, very, very nice peoples to cook for. All right, Johnny, I'm taking off the gloves. Everything is in the oven. Anybody? Show me the hearts. Show me the hearts for the people. Hi, Heather Rose. How's it going? Karen Sue is watching. Karen Sue from Toledo. Hi, Marie. Maria. Maria Duvall. I think she's in Florida. I don't know what part of Florida you're in, but I know you're in Florida. Heather Rose. Uh-huh. Sherry Singer. And Karen Sue. Look, I'm beating Jen today. That's, inc that's crazy. So here's, I'm going to tell you about the story about Jake Owens and this pie. It goes like this. I was at the Huntington Center in Toledo, Ohio. I, have anybody, has anybody ever heard of the Huntington Center in Toledo, Ohio? I think you guys have a walleye team there. Yeah. Our fish, our fight. Is that what it is, Johnny? Yes. Our fish, our fight. So uh, Jake Owens and I had a date, and it was about six years ago. <laughs> it was six years ago. It was uh, in October, and I actually looked up the menu to see what I cooked for him that day to tell you guys a story. So these are the entrees, and this is the, the soup of the day. He had stuffed green pepper soup for dinner. He had Guinness pot roast uh, with all the trimmings. And we had a mojito chicken with that. And then we did a baked cod with the brown butter and a fresh sage. So um, of all of that, Mr. Owen stood up after all of this meal and said, ma'am, did you make this pie? So of all of that goodness food there, he loved the pie. You know what I'm saying? Love the pie out of all the Guinness, all of it. So um, that made me very happy, but I think it made Jen equally happy because Jen is the one that came up with this pie. So Tracy Treese from Cleveland, actually Medina, somewhere around there. Hi, Don Lillibridge. How's it going? Donnie, what's going on, dude? I saw that somebody brought you some mask and some cleaner. I, I think, I, I want to thank those people because I know, dude, that you're not, you got some immune issues like me with the heart. Hi, Tina Mitchell. What's happening, sister? Hang in there, my friend. Hang in there. Tell your sister I said hello and send big loves. Hi, Denise Gibbons, Remington. I can say all three of your names. That's crazy. Hey, Jen, can you hand me one of those masks so I can show everybody what uh, Lisa Pastoric sent me? All right. So, oh, you did say, look at this. I'm sporting this. How about that, people? Last night, a gentleman said, I see you're an Ohio State fan. And I said, go Bucks!" It was more like, go Bucks!" But I said it. <laughs> So now they match my aprons because, you know, those are my colors. So that's the pie story. Um, you know, the other thing I want to talk about is when you work for these people and then you spend the day with them and they, they're not just clients. They become friends. And the stories that happen are pretty amazing. Chuck says go blue. Whatever, Chuck. You get no pie, dude. You better change your view for about an hour because that pie is going to be done in an hour. He can't have pie. So he oh, have. that's right. So for all my, if Chuck brings this up. So let's talk about diet restrictions. Keto, which is really your choice to be keto. Um, but if you do like, if you are gluten free, like my friend Chuck there uh, and some of my other people's, or if you have an alert allergy or something to dairy or whatever, um, we're going to start doing some shows like vegan shows, vegetarian shows. We're gonna show you that you can eat a plant-based entree, kids, and it's gonna blow your mind, and it can taste really, really good. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, and you're gonna be blown away that you're gonna say, my family didn't even know, Ella, that it wasn't real meat. Mm-hmm, right, because I'm gonna show you how to smoke some jackfruit 
with my Ella's dust, magic dust, and you're going to be blown away because people are like, what do you mean it's not pork? It's not pork. You wouldn't even Jackfruit. know. Jackfruit. You would not know. You would not know how, like the difference in the texture, the taste, nothing. I'm telling you right now. Hi, Lindsay. What's going on? Where's the little man? Are you going to show me his little dancing today to the Easter bunny? You know, hippity hoppity. Easter's on its way. Hi, Danette. How's it going? Perna, what's happening, sister? Give my cousin Vince a big hug for me. Hi, John Edwards out there in the ocean. How's it going? Everybody's like, is John Edwards just bobbing out there in the ocean? No, he's on some oil platform. Sharon <laughs> Zablocki says, happy Easter from the polka party. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for checking in with us. I'm going to tell you what. I grew up on Sharon Zablocki's polka party as a child. Over at my grandma's house on Vail. Every Sunday morning, that polka party was on a little trans black transistor radio in the window right by the kitchen table. And the big handle of black velvet was right on the cupboard. And they would do shots and dance polkas in the kitchen. That's how much fun was going on in my grandma Dudak's kitchen. So um, that's the other thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about families. What's going on, Jen? How are we doing? Are we good on time? Where yeah. are we at? Yeah, Don Lillibridge says two of her sons are vegan, so we should really look for a vegan thing to show everybody. Oh, girl, I got millions of vegan friends, and I got millions of recipes for those vegan friends. Um, listen, I did a gig for the Animal Hope and Wellness Foundation, 400 vegans. I kept them all happy. I'll keep the boys happy, too. Um, I want to also say that Usually this is a weird Easter and it's a weird Easter for all of us, but it's, it's kind of weird when you're used to cooking for 200 people on Easter. And that's what I'm used to doing with my American Idol family. So I've spent the last Easter's with American Idol, yes. not at home, not where I've been wearing the ears before, but I'm not going to say, you know, I've never worn the ears at home. Hi, Bart Beavers. How's it going? Janet Davis, Blackmore. She's my cousin. I had a lot of cousins over there. Hi, Christy Huff, Christina or <laughs> Kristen. For God's sakes, where's my man Luke? Is he watching too? What's happening? Sam, what's going on, Sam? Listen, if you use too much liquor in the nacho grandma's bread pudding, just add more sugar. And like Sam and I both agree, the only thing that you is good to do with this stuff is to cook with it or make a gravy out of it. <laughs> All right. So um, anyways, I would be spending Easter with American Idol today and we would be on set and we would be going live uh, tonight, but I'm not. And I figured like, if I can't cook for 200 people today, at least I can show how many people in this class that they can cook and spread the love through some food. You know what I'm saying? Even with these ears on. So even if we can't get the, uh, together with our families, we can still do this. We could still have fun and, you know, maybe have a laugh, but it is different. It's going to be different for a bit, but it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. We all are in this together. So it's just going to be different, and we're going to have to get used to what this was. But I will say, in one year's time, this will be changed. It'll be different. Easter will be different again. Easter will be going back to the traditions that we changed this year. The eggs, the hunts, the egg hunts, you know, the coloring of the eggs, all of it. All of those traditions that are changing... Maybe new ones are started today. I know this is a new one for this family. So who we got, Jen? Kathy Pullman, Karen, how you doing? How you doing, Kim? Carnes, Kimberly, Nelson, hi, Kim. Did the little man have a good Easter? Did the bunny find him? Show me a picture of his basket. Sue Power Swartz, tell Ron I said happy Easter to all you guys. So the deal is this. This is Easter, one of the most holiest holidays People celebrate. A lot of religions celebrate Easter because he's risen. And what we need to do is we need to rise. So we need to rise up. We need to stay positive. We need to get together. We need to hang together. We need to hang together at a distance, but we need to hang. And by that, I mean talking to each other, reaching out to each other. Today is a day of holiness please reach out to people who are at home alone, who don't have family, that don't have a meal today. Reach out to those people, make a phone call, you know, say hello, say hi, you know, we can change things. It doesn't have to always stay like this. And even after this is over, I would hope that you guys would still reach out to people. 
video conference them and make a difference with people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, next year is going to be back to normal. And we're all going to be like, remember, remember that crazy year last year? And we're all going to be like, we did it. We hung together and we did it. We're with the people that we love and we did it. We protected our homes and our peoples and our people that matter to us and we did it. So the only thing we have to do is hang. We got to hang, keep the faith and the love between us and keep building the bridge because it's going to protect you, your wife, your son, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, all of us. Because if we don't stop, it will keep going. We have to stop. Stop and just listen. Wear the masks and listen. Because when you show that you're not wearing the mask, it kind of shows that you're being selfish to everybody else that is trying to follow the rules. And the crazy thing is, is I don't know why I get so upset or aggravated, Jen, when I see this, but it, it makes me nuts because I just want things to go back to normal too. You know what I'm saying? I need my life to go back to normal. So whatever that normal life was, it, some people will be like, Ella, you don't even live a normal life. No, <laughs> no, it's not normal. Nothing about my day is normal, but I will say this. I know that protecting my family and my siblings and my mom and everybody else and all my friends and everything is important to me. So this is how I'm rolling. So roll with me, people, and just follow the rules, and we can get through this a lot faster, but we got to stay strong. We all are in this together, and we can do it. What do we got, Jen? Oh, Mrs. Waite is watching. Hi, Mrs. Waite. Hi, Tam Tammy Simon. Tammy Simon from high school? I think so. Hi. Uh, is um, Andy Simon look watching today? Do we know I about him? Seen him Melissa Ford Carter, how you doing? Lori Crawford, what's going on? Lori Crawford Knight, I can say your name because I remember it. <laughs> All right, so the other thing I want to say is this. Um, let's talk about the angels. Let's talk about the angels today. Um, but I really, before I talk about the angels that are making a difference, because we got some angels over there in Toledo that I've heard about that are making a difference. Um, today, just reach out to somebody and just call them, okay? Just give a little bit of your time give a little bit of your day and give a little bit of love to somebody. All right. That's all I'm asking. Somebody, one person, start the ripple effect. The love will come. It'll all happen. And then we can all get back to normal. But then that doesn't mean stop the love. That means keep spreading the love. So here's the deal. The angels today. Oh, Caroline Sofo's in the house. Ella's watching with her. Oh, my little nugget of goodness and love, Ella. My little baby Ella's watching me. Hi, Linda Litton. How's it going, sister? And Brenda Shraman? Shraman. Sherman. Sherman. Brenda Sherman. I can't read that. Hi, guys. So here's the first angel who's making a difference. And that's my friend. And this is actually one in Lakeland, Florida. Lakeland, Florida. My friend Robin Wilson, who I met a long time ago on the road. She's one hell of a chef. She's a great lady. And guess what, kids? Farm to table. Do you guys know what farm to table means? Give me some thumbs up if you know what farm to table is. Because farm to table is how we should all be eating. Farm to table. And as close to farm to table as possible. You know what I'm saying? It's where you know where your food comes from, kids. It goes from the farm, huh? Where it's grown and taken care of and cultivated and loved, 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 loved to your table. Chefs, have these places called farms and then they take it to the chef table and they cook in the restaurants. So give me the thumbs up for farm to table cooking. And my friend over there in Lakeland, Robin, I love her. She's my little dolphin hunter. Um, she is making dinners for people and she believes, this is, this is her motto. This is what she believes. We believe that nourishing food should be accessible to all, especially during these times accessible to all. And she's not saying this is how much it cost. She's saying you can donate what you need to. And if you can't donate, somebody down the road will cover you. See that kids? Paying it forward. Again, it keeps going. It's a ripple effect. Just keep paying it forward. So give me the hearts. Give me the hearts for my friend Robin over there in Lakewood, Lakeland, Florida. Give it up for her. All right. And then um, we're going to talk about one of my friends over there in Toledo, Ohio, and his name is Ed. 
And I know that you people know Ed because Ed owns the Blarney and Ed owns Fukasha's and Ed Brzezinski, I think I'm saying it right, um, is a guy that I met a long time ago when I used to work on an event in Toledo called Taste of the Town where all the restaurants would come together and uh, they would bring everything they did. Well, I met Ed and Ed had Fukasha's at the time and that was on downtown, I think on Summit Street. And uh, he was a great guy. I always liked Ed. But then I saw what Ed did yesterday. And I was like, I knew that Ed was a great guy. Ed and his staff from Fakasha's and the Blarney, 700 meals. They did 700 meals. These 700 meals were blessed over by a Catholic priest who was sitting outside of the restaurant as the I believe the cars were pulling up and they were putting them in the trunks or wherever they were putting the meals in the parking lot. However they were doing it, they were also blessing the Easter baskets that went out to these 700 people. So let's hear it for your guys in Toledo there for Ed, because Ed and his staff are angels, all of them. 700 meals people is a lot of meals and a lot of people to feed. Now just think about this. Let's do the math. 700 and there's two people in a family mm, that's 14 was that 14 no that's 1500 right there i went to whitmer no that is 1400 1400 people and then you d double that and then double it again that is the ripple effect of love that food has created for ed and that's what ed did for people yesterday that's pretty amazing so give me the hearts for ed and remember this people when this city opens back up and all these other cities open up, you remember these people. You remember these angels who are helping your community out. You remember them. You remember all of them because they're going to need you through everything that's going to happen years and years and years to come from this. Please remember these people. All right. Uh, so that's about Ed. And the ripple effect, again, is still working for Ed. All right. Hey, Anna, what's going on, sister? Hi, Terry. Hi, Sean, Jenny. What's up, Jen? Jen from uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Jody. How you doing, Jody? Kathy Rose. What's going on over there in Marietta? Ma'am, that pie is smelling real good, ma'am. The pie is good. The good is good pie. All right, kids. So in closing, if you still need something to do with the little nippers today, go check out Johnny's uh, virtual eggs thing that he found, egg hunt, on Snapchats, Snap mats. And then the other thing that I found for you guys to do with the little kids, the little nippers. Have you not got the picture yet with the guy with the ears? If you haven't got that photo yet, you can go to this place called PictureMeBunny.com. PictureMeBunny.com. You take a photo in your house, you send it and email it over to these peoples, and guess what? They send it back to you for a nominal fee, and you're sitting right next to the Easter Bunny, just like you would be in the mall. And I'm telling you, I checked it out, I looked at it, and it's very clean lined. John Canfeld, you'd be amazed at these people. And it's kind of like you set up a green screen in your house with a white sheet. It really does, it, it is pretty amazing. So go to uh, picturemebunny.com so you still have the tradition of getting the kids' picture taken for the year. All right, and let's see. Oh, and then the Easter baskets. I wanna talk about Jen's friends uh, who, I've seen all kinds of great ideas for Easter baskets this year because eh, traditions, eh, throw them out the window this year. So I've seen Easter baskets that are in ceramic bowls. I've seen Easter baskets that are in, um, you know, little containers of where you put grow flowers. Uh, Jen's friend has two grown adult kids and they can't have dinner together because, you know, everybody's got to be stationary. So she did curbside pickup Easter baskets with everything you need for a meal inside the basket, which I thought was probably a number one, the craziest and greatest idea I heard. Hi, Mike Mazur, what's going on? And Janet, that's Janet. Janet Metzger. Quakendall. Quakendall did the pickups. And I think that was great, Janet. I think that was awesome. And your kids should really appreciate what you did for them because that's sweet. All right. So, and uh, I think that is it, Jen. I want to talk about... Our cleanup songs, people. How are we doing on time? Where are we at? Where are we at? We're in. We're at about 30 minutes in. Oh, okay. 35 minutes. Okay, we're good. We're good on time. And it's smelling good in here because, mmm, that pie, mmm, it's really cooking in that ceramic pan. I can't believe she came up with that. All right, so the cleanup songs today because it is Easter. And we do want to, you know, we do want to praise him because he has risen. So uh, we're going to take up uh, the song for Amazing Grace. 
Yep. But it's not just any Amazing Grace. You got to listen to Loretta Lynn's Amazing Grace because today is about kind of country. And country people have the best manners of people that I've cooked for. Nothing against rock and roll people, but the country people are just a different class of people. It's amazing to me how just they're just sweet people. I don't even know how to say it. So I want you to to listen to one of my favorite ladies that I've ever cooked for, and that's Loretta Lynn, my father's, one of his all-time faves. And uh, I want you to listen to Amazing Grace in the Kitchen while you clean up today. And then uh, here's another band that I love working for, a country band. Uh, they're called Alabama. You guys know those guys? Give it up for Alabama. Those guys, I want you to listen to Angels Amongst Us because you know what? We got all kinds of angels. We got all kinds of angels. And if you pay attention to the sign, kids, those angels are very active right now. And you know why they're very active? They're very active because of all the praying that is going on in the world. They're very active. Pay attention to the sign. You might just get a sign that you're going to be like, wow, I, hmm, it's not a coincidence. All right. And then the other song, it's got to be Alleluia by the Canadian Tenors. We're going Canada. We're going old school Canada with the Tenors. And I want you to listen to this version of Leonard Cohen's Alleluia. It's amazing. I've got to, and I have cooked for Leonard Cohen before. He's an amazing man. But this version of this song will touch your soul. I must be those people from Canada. They got that effect on people. Um, and then we got to do one for Jake. Mr. Owens, I want you guys to play Down to the Honky Tonk because that's a great song. That'll get you moving for the day. And lastly, but not leastly, I'm going to say that you guys should listen to Give a Little Bit. You know why. Just Give a Little Bit by the Goo Goo Dolls. Johnny Resnick and the boys. Johnny's a great guy. If you want to know what an angel that man is, look up his story. You'll be surprised about him. Hi, Jane Galvin. How you doing, sister? How you feeling? I know you're still sick with the Rona. <laughs> Jody, how's it going, Jody? Oh, Jodette. Jodette from Hawaii. I'm so glad that you got up early to watch us. This is awesome. She's Sean's uh, cousin. Yes. Hi, Dawn McCoy. What's going on, Dawn? Tyler Rozak. And we got, who else we got? Oh, Lisa. No. Yes, Lisa Curl. Lisa Curl. I can't even see. I can't even see that, Jen. Terrible writing today. It was left-handed. Oh, it was left-handed. All right. So, in closing, now that we've got the songs out of the way, people, um, remember: faith, hope, and love. And I'm going to take these off, so I'm serious now. <laughs> faith, hope, and love. We can do this. We got to do this. We got to keep on keeping on, peoples. So, we got to hold it together. The days are getting longer, but that's okay. They're clicking off fast. You know what I'm saying? Fast. You know, do whatever you need to do to entertain yourself because it seems to be working for a lot of people. And if it keeps your mind correct and it keeps your spirit where it needs to be and it keeps your soul where it needs to be, you're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. We're all in this together, but we're all going to be okay. Um, and I want to say that of all of these, faith, hope, and love, love is the strongest emotion of all of them. And remember, with love, you can do amazing things. A mom could lift a car off a child because that's love. So we can do anything we want, but we got to love and we got to love everybody. And the power of love is going to bring us all back together and it's going to build the bridge. And we're building the bridge through food and love. And that's exactly what we're doing. Every time I turn this camera on, I believe that we're building a bridge somehow through food and love. And it's creating fellowship and it's creating people that haven't seen each other in a long time and they grew up together and they lost touch and years have gone by, but they're creating fellowship together. They're asking each other how their families are. They're talking about the years that they haven't been connected and they're reconnecting. Building a bridge. Love is building the bridge. Mm -hmm. It's happening. And it's happening all through food because food brings people together. And that's all I know. And I believe that. Uh, and before I go, I want to say hello to my other Hawaiian friend, Tony. Tony, I'm glad you got up this morning and are spending Easter Sunday with us too and uh, watching. And Greg Stolarski from uh, Chicago. I got to thank my cameraman, Johnny Palsa. Even though we we're out of space on the iPad today, we're going to have to dump that off. 
Uh, are you playing anything today? Do you want to let the people know anything? They can't it's see you shaking it's your head. Holiday. It's Oh, it's a holiday. He's taking the day off. Oh, does that mean no gaming at all? <laughs> no. No, that doesn't mean that. I, I don't want you to lose your mind. And then I got to thank my producer, Jen, who... <laughs> She goes along with changing this kitchen in our dining room or our living room into a set every other day. I mean, it is kind of funny. Um, and then I just want to say that I am blessed by you and to have you in our home. Thank you. Thank you for joining us this Easter Sunday. And I hope your day is a beautiful day. Reach out, touch somebody and say hello. It's going to be okay. Jen, are you want to cue the music? Happy Easter, everybody. This is where the song comes on. Happy Easter, everybody. Have a great day. Did you turn the speaker up? No. She's fired. This is, see, see what I'm saying? You show me the love. Let's play it one more time. But you know what? If you take off your, if you take off my, uh, my live feed off of that stream, Johnny, then I won't follow through through the computer and then it'll be okay. I can figure out how to do Okay. That. We're done. So many tabs open <laughs> You guys up. have a great day. I got it. Happy Easter. Don't forget, reach out and touch somebody and not by the cotton tail. Oh, here we go. This is an outtake. Where's my hands? Hey, Jay. Jamie. See you guys. Have a great day. Jazz hands. <laughs>